So I was about 14, 15 when I decided I was going to do some science. So I took um, biology, chemistry, maths, and general studies at A-level, and then went on to do a degree in microbiology. Once I'd done my degree in microbiology, um, I got a job working for <laughs> the um, UK um, government uh, as a scientist there. And um, I then was able to do my um, master's in bioinformatics and a doctorate um, in biosciences through my job in the UK. I worked for 15 years uh, in that job developing all kinds of DNA tests and sequencing uh, tests for the UK government. So a lot of the science that I do um, is really about how we detect different species in the environment and how we can um, use that information to help for biodiversity um, and how we can track pathogens as well. So for example, um, if we were to take a litre of water out of a lake or a reservoir, we could tell you all of the species of fish that are in there. A lot of this is all done with DNA sequencing, and that means it's quite a data-driven science. So that's where the computational biology comes in, because it's, it's quite a lot of programming and data analysis and statistics in that, um, as opposed to pipetting in a lab, for example. For me, being involved with Love Tech, if I can open a couple of eyes to, oh, that, that sounds interesting, and oh, there might be a job for me here in the island, if I go and do something like bioscience or genetics or biochemistry or something, um, I think that's that's really really a big part of it for me because I don't yeah I don't think anybody should discount a particular career path just because they think that they're from the Isle of Man or it's difficult or it's um, something that oh only you know any men do because the the picture of a scientist that they have in their head is a kind of Einstein looking person in a white coat. Um, so yeah, I think I think trying to change that perception about scientists and, and who we are, I think is a really, really good thing. Don't always think that the, the way that you're told at school that you get into a particular job is the only way to get into that job. Don't worry about bad exam results or <laughs> um, a failed module or something like that. There's, there's always routes around that. I don't think I've ever looked at somebody who has a uh, the CV of somebody with a degree or a master's degree and gone, well, how did your GCSEs go? <laughs> it's just, you know, it's not even something that we consider. So I think it's it's very easy for teenagers in particular to think that, that it's the end of the world if they don't get a particular grade on a particular exam, but actually in, in the long term, um, if you keep plugging away and, and heading towards that goal, you will ultimately get there. So.